the Tesla Semi, aka the truck of the future. In 2022, on December 1st, Tesla gave PepsiCo the keys to the first production semis it had ever made. It took Elon Musk five years to get this idea off the ground. He unveiled it to the world in December 14, 2017, with deliveries now underway. The Tesla Semi is well on its way to revolutionizing the transportation business and, in Musk's word, making the world a better place. In this video, we will reveal everything you need to know about this futuristic truck. Stay tuned and be sure to like and subscribe for more. The Semi Early Years The Tesla Semi was first discussed by Elon Musk in his July 20, 2016 post titled Master Plan Part Ducks. The CEO expanded beyond sedans and SUVs under the heading expansion to cover the major forms of terrestrial transport. Heavy-duty trucks and high-density urban transportation are two more uses for electric vehicles. Both are now at the prototype stage at Tesla and are expected to debut in 2017. Musk penned, the cost of transportation freight will go down, safety will go up, and it will be a blast to drive. He said, all thanks to the Tesla Semi. However, the Semi's history could be researched further. Musk stated, our actual aim is to expedite the advent of renewable energy at the occasion where deliveries were made. That's why we're producing such a diverse lineup for vehicles, some of which don't fit the brand normally, but do feed the company's objective. According to the manufacturer, just a few hundred thousand heavy rings are purchased annually in the United States, compared to the 15 million passenger automobiles. Due to their size and constant use, the few long haulers account for 20% of all U.S. vehicle emissions. Musk also noted that semi-trucks account for more than a third of the articulated emissions. A powered train with three motors and 1,000 volts. At the 2017 unveiling of Tesla Semi, Musk compared it to both the semi-trucks of today and the Bugatti Chiron a 2 million supercar. The CEO highlighted performance as a primary characteristic, but not just any other performance. Tesla renamed it BAMF Performance instead. The acronym is left as puzzle for you to solve. The performance of Semi is what will revolutionize the transportation industry, but its appearance will make it stand out at the truck stops. The Semi was supposed to have four separate motors, but only came with three, much like the Model S Plaid. But don't be deceived. Dan Presley, senior manager of Tesla Semi Engineering, broke down why the Semi is commonly referred to as the beast. Currently, there is no diesel truck on the road. They can't compare to its power. So not only do you have the muscle to get the job done, but one of these bad boys can travel 500 miles on a single charge, making it a true beast. The combination of two is what makes this such a game changer. The amazing thing is that our 1000 volt drive chain makes both of those possible. So far, this is the only car we've built with that power from three engines in a clutch. Since the tri-motor powertrain system is designed primarily for use in highway, one of the motors is responsible for carrying the bulk of vehicle's weight. The size of a football roughly describes this efficient motor. There are two others and they relate to torque and velocity. Those motors borrowed their setup from the models as plaid powertrain with the added feature that semis to when used motors can be physically disabled. The two performance motors can now be engaged or disengaged automatically thanks to a clutch that Tesla introduced. Tesla claims that when high performance is required, the clutch will automatically and flawlessly engage the performance motors. Disengaging the motors while they are not in use improves efficiency even further than the Model S Plaid's free-willing design. Grizzly explained, there is no need for the driver to do anything with a clutch on them. You won't even notice the change. The performance. It looks absurd. 
Musk said of the semi's performance, like an elephant moving like a cheetah. When it was first introduced, it was boasted that it could travel from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 5 seconds. As for acceleration, it can achieve 60 mph in 20 seconds when loaded to its maximum gross vehicle weight of 80,000 pounds. When going full speed up a 5% incline, conventional diesel trucks can only manage 45 mph. The Tesla Semi will be capable of 65 mph. The Power and Reach Range is the most significant feature in the industry. Even though the speed and acceleration are excellent and a vast improvement over the present diesel trucks on the road, at their maximum gross vehicle weight and highway speeds, Tesla claims that their semis have a range of 500 miles. 80% of transportation routes are under 250 miles in length, making this figure significant. It's possible to transport a load of the middle out of nowhere and come back. As Musk put it, it appears this was the most contentious part of allegation. In a blog post dated August 24, 2020, Bill Gates voiced his skepticism about the range. According to the Gate notes, electric vehicles will likely never be a realistic answer for things like 18 wheelers, cargo ships, and passenger aircraft, even with major advancement in battery technology. While electric propulsion is great for short trips, it's not practical for long-distance transportation. Attempting to disprove his beliefs, Tesla went to work. All 500 miles of Tesla Semi's journey on a single charge were captured on camera. The presentation only uses a shortened version of the 8-hour video, but did show a long journey with 82,000 pounds traveling from Vermont to San Diego. A number of cutting-edge technologies are at work here. Existing efficiency of the semi is around 1.7 kilowatt per mile, but Musk sees a way to make it significantly more efficient. The CEO of Tesla once explained that unlike conventional diesel trucks, which is more like barn walls, the Tesla truck was built to be aerodynamic as a bullet. The semi is capable of producing the performance of range because of its layout. Normal diesel trucks have a drag coefficient, also known as wind resistance, of 0.65 to 0.70. The Tesla Semi has a drag coefficient of 0.36, which is better than the Bugatti Chiron, 0.38, and half that of standard diesel trucks. Flaps on the side can be adjusted to fit the trailer's width, complementing the streamlined front and flat underside. These additions reduce resistance and boost range. Charging Tesla's reveal of Semi's charging system almost stole the spotlight from the vehicle arrival. Modern V4 supercharges can generate up to 1 MWDC. To charge a truck like this, quickly you need a high-powered charger. Musk said, this is our state-of-the-art, fully immersive air conditioning system. Because of its liquid cooling system, a megawatt of power may be sent via a relatively tiny cable, eliminating the requirement for a cable the size of an elephant truck. The density have been multiplied by three at least. It's important to Tesla that Semi can travel from NT to 70% in just 30 minutes. Important because every 6 hours, drivers are required to pull over a 30-minute break in most areas. According to the manufacturer, the Semi can gain 400 miles in half an hour, giving it a range of up to 6 additional hours. These chargers will also be located at loading and unloading points. The semi-owners can keep their vehicles top off while they're at work. Display and apps In terms of cabin design, the semi is most like the Model 3 and Model Y. Without traditional instrument cluster, the semi's two horizontal screens are placed on either side of the driver. Truck-specific elements such as tire PSI, trailer air supply, and parking brake operations are located at the bottom of the left panel. 
While the right display appears to contain the standard launcher, we have in modern Tesla's with access to music, phone, cabin temperature, and more. The current software can be thought of as similar to that of Model 3Y, though this can be altered in any time. In essence, the semi-divides display of Model 3 or Model Y down the middle and shows each half independently. The vehicle's pedometer, gear selector, battery indications, and visualization are all played on the left screen. Information like navigation and apps seems on the right of a Model 3 display can be shown on the semi's right screen. Tesla, though, isn't using the entire screen for this function. In its screen, blind spot camera displays take up a third of the real estate. Battery Tesla hasn't revealed the actual dimensions of Tesla's semi batteries, but they've provided enough data for us to make good guess. An efficiency of less than 2 kilowatt per mile have been predicted by Tesla for semi, 1.24 kilowatt per kilometer. Range for semi, according to Tesla, is between 300 and 500 kilometers. We can extrapolate from these two pieces of information that the semi will come into two distinct flavors. Both the standard and long-range variants will contain batteries, but the former will have a capacity of around 600 kilowatt and the latter around 1 megawatt. The battery in 2022 Model S is 100 kilowatt. Therefore, the Tesla Semi battery will be 6 to 10 times larger, given that the electricity can be distributed across more batteries. The Semi will change more quickly than Tesla's current models, thanks to its bigger battery capacity. The 2170 battery cell found in the Model 3 and Model Y will power the first Tesla semi truck. However, once production rates increase, Tesla is anticipated to begin exclusively using 4,680 batteries. The semi has thermonuclear explosion gas. Mass equipped, it survives a nuclear explosion or you'll get a full refund. Musk said, what are your thoughts on futuristic truck? Let us know in the comment section below. Give this video a like and subscribe so we can show you more amazing videos like this. See you in the next one.